Hello and welcome back to the channel. Look at that image on the screen, everyone. Look at that image. Uh, this is a meme that um, I ran across and when you look at what is being said, it looks and sounds very comical. Uh, what the person said is very comical. Uh, but I want to break this down a little bit more than just the comedy behind it because uh, this is really sad when you think about it. Look at the statement. Uh, the meme actually says a full grown adult begging for forgiveness or blessings from two bags of cement mixed with some concrete and paint. Mm, mm, mm. When I saw this meme, the first thing that came to mind was, this is funny. The second thing that came to mind was, this is sad. How can something be funny and sad at the same time? Well, I'll tell you how. The wording is actually what's funny, but the person said how they just broke it down so simply, right? But the sad part is that you actually have people who believe that they are getting somewhere spiritually by doing exactly what this man did here. He is kneeling down, literally, like the person said, to two bags of cement mixed with some concrete and paint. Bible says, don't make no graven images, but somehow man has justified doing the exact opposite of what the Bible says. Now, these are people who believe in the Bible, people who towed it around, quote from it and all that. It very clearly tells you don't make any graven images, right? Of things in heaven or on earth. Don't make the shape of no human. Don't make the shape of no animal. Don't make the shape of no angels. But that is what they have done. They've carved themselves out a God. <clears throat> now, in this case, we're looking at Mary. But the fact that he is kneeling and bowing to this Mary shows that he is revering her in a way that even she didn't want. When you look at the um, book, The Inf Infantry of J.C., okay, that's a book. Um, it actually talks about how people were trying to revere Mary and she was like, uh-uh, no, I'm not the one. Don't do it, right? But see, people get stuck in this mode of wanting to worship something that they can see. Bible talked about that too. And so what has happened is people begin to worship statues that they believe mimic the son of God, God, or the mother of Jesus or the mother of God, right? They have made these statues. Some people make statues of angels that they kneel to, right? And then those who don't kneel to two bags of cement mixed with some concrete and paint, they will look in the mirror and worship themselves. And if a person don't feel themselves worthy enough to be worshiped, in which you shouldn't, right? They will find another human being or a group of human beings to worship. So essentially what is happening is people want to worship something, right? They want to worship someone. And if they don't have a person that they feel is worthy to be worshipped, they will make their own God. They will carve it with their own hands and their own tools. So yes, it is truly sad. Although the person who did this meme um, put some major comedy out here. Although it's funny, it is very sad. And it's really not funny when you look at the grander scheme of things. A full grown man. Now I'm going to take it a step further, looking at the image here, a full grown black man on his knees kneeling to two bags of cement mixed with some concrete and paint. Mm, mm, mm. An inappropriate, inaccurate image of the mother of JC. For those who know the truth of the Bible and where everything was situated and where everything took place, you know that it's bibli biblically incorrect to show Mary, the mother of JC or Jesus, as a white woman. She was actually a melanated woman. She was an Arab. She was a so-called black woman. 
So that's the other shameful part of this, the fact that we can't even get it right. When you make your graven image, you can't even get it right. It isn't even made in accordance to the Bible that you say you believe in. The Bible shows and describes not just the region, but the appearance, the appearance of the so-called children of Israel. But people can't even get that part right. And so what has happened here is a mass of confusion has entered the world. A mass of deception has entered the world to where people believe that this right here on the screen is what they should be doing. You have people who believe that bowing down and worshiping to an, a false image or a false idol is what they should be doing. This confusion has been passed all around the planet, y'all. All around the planet. And it's truly sad. It's truly sad that this is where we are. But this is where man wants to be. Because the truth is out there. If people simply read their Bible, you know, the Bible itself tells you to study to show yourself approved unto Yah, a workman that needs not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth or rightly understanding or precepting or dissecting the word of truth. But some people get so caught up in religion to, to where they don't even read it for themselves. They just go off of what Pastor Massa tells them is the truth what has been handed to them they don't study they don't read for themselves they don't work out their own salvation with fear and trembling but they live their lives through what the pastor or the minister the bishop the elder says to them no real relationship of their own with the creator of heaven and earth what is going on? What's going on, y'all, to where this man and so many others like him think that this is okay to bow down to two bags of cement mixed with some concrete and paint and you think that you are worshiping and revering the Most High? Mm, mm, mm. Or his mother in this case even though that is not even accurately depicted of the mother of J.C. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, y'all, I'm done with this video. I didn't mean for it to be comedy. I just, I mean, it is what it is. It is a funny image, but at the same time, it is very, very sad and not really funny at all. Y'all get what I'm trying to say here? Very, very sad and not really funny at all i'm done with this coming down off the soapbox now get in the word and find out for yourself study to show yourself approve understand what is happening in the world today how we have arrived at literally worshiping statues bible says in all thy getting get understanding understanding would tell you that this ain't right you can't worship something that's been carved by the hands of man it just ain't right. The Most High is a jealous Elohim and he don't like this kind of stuff. But people have convinced themselves that this stuff is okay. Anyway, y'all, again, I am done with this video. Done with this video in the, in the comment section below. Say what you got to say, but keep it tight and keep it right. Until next time, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.